Hello my friends, welcome back to another episode of Chai Chats. I here have a robust tea with me. It's kind of towards the evening right now, so I'm feeling quite relaxed and I've been enjoying a bit of robust these days. So that's what we're doing in this video. Um, today we're gonna be speaking about if you can't do all of it, then do some of it. And I'll explain what I mean by that. But essentially, so last week I had like one of the most hectic weeks of my life. Um, so I live in Victoria and I had a couple of like workshops and seminars um, in Moama, which is like across the border. So it's about a three and a half hour drive one way. And so we would drive up and we drive back and I did that twice last week. Plus I had like a bunch of other work commitments and all that. Um, and I also get car sick, which is, isn't the best thing in the world because it meant that you know, while my colleague was driving, I couldn't do work on the side. I could really only stare out the window and look at the beautiful landscape, um, sleep, or drive. Like those are the only really three things that I was doing, um, which is great. I mean, they're not bad things because, you know, Victoria is quite amazing. Australia is quite a beautiful country as it is. But it just meant that, you know, the time that I would spend awake was kind of getting lost in activities that wasn't bringing me too much value. Like I couldn't do work at all. So there was about, 14 hours of my week that I was awake where I just couldn't do anything at all. Um, and of course, when you're stuck in a decision like that, or when you're stuck in a situation like that, you're like, you know what, make the most of it, enjoy the scenery and all that. And so I did that. But all while at the back of my mind, I was like, okay, crap, everything is kind of piling up at the moment. And so, like the reason why I'm making this video is because like, you know, everyone's got, we all got, we all got 24 hours in a day. And there's and that too, a smaller amount of that is hours that we actually spend awake. And so how effective are we in those times? Or like, you know, how much can we actually do? And this week just happened to be a week where I had a whole bunch of other commitments, but I still wanted to make sure that I, you know, showed up for myself and I still showed up for my friends and all the other, you know, workplaces that I was committed to. And so I did just that. And what I found was, was that um, initially, you know, a couple of months ago when I would, if, if I ever had a work week like this, I'd get extremely stressed out and I'd, you know, I'd freak out and be like, you know, I can't do this, I can't do everything. And more recently a thought came to me, it was kind of like, it was really weird because it was, it was, in, it was in a moment where I was deciding whether or not I should go to the gym. Um, cause I had about like half an hour and like, I was like, oh, okay, cool. Should I just use that half an hour? Just sit and just do nothing. Or should I like, you know, just hit the gym for a little bit and then, you know, then go out and go about my business. And so it was, it was in that moment. I was like, you know what? Like I should just go to the gym anyway. Like usually I go to the gym for like an hour and a half, hour 15 and that's my full workout. But if it, if it means that I can only go for like half an hour, like 25 minutes, I should just go. Because that 25 minutes, that half an hour is better than not doing any of it at all. And like the reason why this is so important is because, you know, we try our best to do everything. We want to do everything. But we, like I said before, we only have 24 hours. That too, less of those hours we are awake. And so how much can we do? Or like how much can we stretch ourselves to a point where, you know what, we're operating at our best, we're being challenged, but we're not experiencing too much burnout or we're not pushing ourselves to the point where we're gonna experience burnout and we're gonna experience extreme exhaustion. Like, how can we just prevent ourselves from doing that? And for me, the answer was, you know, do parts of it. Like, what, like for example, for you, you know, if you can't go to the gym for an hour, go for half an hour. If you can't go to that party that night, right? Go for the first two hours or go for an hour. Like say hi to everyone. So at least everyone was there to see you. Like show up for yourself and show up for your friends and do the things that you want to do. And like, I know you might be thinking, oh, Himmel, you're so busy. Like you're too busy. You know, you're pushing yourself way too much. Like you're attached to being busy. You just like being busy. And like to some extent, there may be some truth to that, but I'm in a situation where I'm incredibly, incredibly grateful and blessed to be in a situation where I'm working like a fair few jobs. I'm basically working four jobs. Um, but I'm extremely enjoying life because I'm pretty much loving every single thing that I do. And I think one of the big reasons why I haven't gotten burnt out is because I just love it so much. Um, and that too, I've also been making sure that I get either seven or eight hours of sleep a night. Um, it's basically built off that. Like I either base it off seven or eight hours of sleep and I kind of build my week around it. And if I don't get that seven hours, then it's like, is there a spot during the day where I can sneak in like a 20 minute nap or like an hour and a half kind of like full sleep cycle. Um, and so I've just been navigating my whole week like that. And so this is what I want you to remember. Like if you can't do everything, just do, just do parts of it. Um, like I asked myself, like, can I do everything in this week? 
um, or is there things that I can cut out? And when I asked that question to myself, like, can, like, should I cut out anything? I was like, you know what? Like, I really don't. Like, I really don't want to cut out anything because I, I want to be there for everything. I want to be there for all of it. Um, and the way that I choose to be there for all of it is I choose to be there for at least part of it. Um, if it is impossible or if it would mean to my detriment um, if I was there for the whole thing. So, so yeah. Um, short, quick chai chats. Anyway, if you did enjoy this one, make sure you do like the video and you subscribe to the channel. And I'll definitely join you for the cup of tea in the next chai chats. See you then.